In this video, I want to address the misconception of expansion in, in matter, uh, the expansion of solids, liquids, and, and gases, and what is actually happening when this expansion is taking place at the, at the molecular level. Um, at the molecular level, uh, the reason I mention molecular level is because uh, there is the misconception that uh, particles, exp when, when, a, when, a, when there is a, a, um, a change of state from say a solid to a liquid, um, the particles of, of the solid are expanding. Um, so that is the misconception that the particles expand. Now the particles do not expand. Uh, what is expanding or what is increasing is the space between the particles. Um, so uh, before we can talk about that, let's, let's remember that solids, liquids and gases uh, are made up of particles. And um, it is the arrangement of these particles in, in these three different states which define the state. So the, 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 the state of being a solid is defined by the number or by, 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 by the closeness of the particles um, in the solid. And in a liquid, the particles are a bit further apart from each other when you compare it to a solid. And in the gas, they are even more further apart than in, in solids. So when you compare them, uh, the particles are close, are, are very close together in a solid, they are further apart in a liquid, and they are furthest apart in, in, in a gas. And so a change of state is the change from, say, um, a, 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 a solid into a liquid. Now this a change of state is is where this misconception is 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 coming from, where the student uh, thinks that um, the the change of state is due to, to to the expansion or, in other words, what they envision is that the particles of the solid are getting bigger and that gives rise to a to a liquid. But in actual fact, it is the distance between the particles of the solid which increase due to the particles uh, receiving energy, receiving more energy and therefore vibrating more and with, with, uh, with more energy and more vibrations they are able to move uh, further apart from each other and overcome the intramolecular forces which, are, which have been holding them together all along. So they move further apart from each other increasing the space between them and when that space increases, then there's a transition of state from a solid to a liquid or from a liquid into a gas. And by the way, um, in, a, in a gas for evaporation to take place, for example, um, the particles in the, in, in the gaseous state receive so much energy that they are able to escape the, the, the the, the tension forces on the surface of the liquid and also the intermolecular forces or interparticular forces between the particles uh, and and then they're able to escape. So in conclusion, when there's a change of state from say a solid into a liquid, there is no expansion of the of the particles. What is what is what is causing this expansion to happen or to take place is the increase in the distance between the individual particles of the solid and when they become sufficiently far apart from each other then there's a change of state into a liquid. 